Hey everyone, okay so today we're going to be doing a purple burgundy smoky eye. So the first thing we're going to do is apply some moisturizer to Beth's face and I'm using Emberlease moisturizer here and I'm just applying it with a damp sponge. If you've got very very oily skin then I really do suggest just not using any primer or any moisturizer at all. Taking a beauty blender sponge and some mud cream foundation I'm applying this over the face to just give some coverage because we're going to cover underneath the eyes relatively heavily. And I love the Beauty Blender because it pretty much does all the work for you with regards to blending. Taking a MAC angled foundation brush, I'm applying concealer, which is actually mud cream foundation in a lighter shade underneath the eyes. And I'm bringing this down quite low because we're going to kind of highlight this area of the face. And then with the same sponge, we're just going to pat and blend this out. You want to go right the way up to the lash line as well. Taking the Beauty Blender again, I'm now blending that in so that there's no harsh edges as in concealer foundation. So now I'm setting the face and this is with Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder and a MAC Vela Puff. I'm now going to apply excess loose powder underneath the eyes to catch any fallout from any of the eyeshadow that we're going to be doing shortly. I'm now going to fill in the brows ever so slightly and I'm going to be using MAC Brow for this and this is in black because Beth has very very dark eyebrows naturally. So I'm actually just filling them in, they look quite heavy and then I'm going to run through it with a comb and it kind of just sort of smooths everything out as you'll see in a second. So just look for any areas that may need thickening or defining such as the tail of the brow and then just run through it with a comb and it will blend that pencil out. And you can see the difference between the kind of two eyebrows. Taking a MAC eyeshadow brush, apply a nice shimmery light color to the eyelid. Next, with a crease brush, this is by Robert Jones, I'm applying a taup shade into the crease of the eye right the way in to the bridge of the nose. I'm then going to take a MAC 213 brush, is it 213? 217, silly me, and blend it out. So remember, one one brush applies the color, this brush blends the color. We don't want to kind of blend with the same brush because it gets too muddy. So just blend in those colors. And I like to use a mid-tone. Now we're just going to apply this burgundy purple color with a lay down brush by Robert Jones. Just pop the color onto the lid. Don't blend it because we'll blend it with the 217 now. So just blend this in as much as you can. And this just gives, I think this is just a very nice, subtle, smoky eye. Taking a push liner brush and black eyeshadow, I'm going to line very, very close to the lash line. And you'll be able to see in a second when I get my hand out of the way. There you go. And this just really gives that smoky effect from lash as we go up. I'm now going to sweep away that excess powder underneath the eyes and any fallout that may have occurred. This is a Louisian fan brush, very, very large jumbo version, which is excellent for contouring as well as bronzer. Okay, so I'm just going to go underneath the eye with a little bit of that burgundy color just to connect the two up. And I've also lined with a black coal pencil in the inner rim of the eye. Taking a blush, I'm applying this just on the kind of cheekbone area just to give a little bit of a glow. This is by Bourgeois. I just, you see, I'm not asking you to smile. I'm just applying it a little bit high up. Taking an angled cheek brush, I'm just going to go underneath the cheekbones ever so slightly and the jawline. And this is by Ray Morris and the bronzer is Makeup Forever. Okay, so you can see that kind of smoke. I'm now going to apply some very, very loose diamond powder into the inner corner of the eye because she's so young and it's just so pretty on this kind of look. I'm just lining the lips ever so slightly with a lip pencil by MAC. And it's really, really you know, I'm not doing much here at all. I'm not trying to etch out a different shape. And then I'm going to apply some MAC lip gloss just to the lip because I don't want any color on this. I just want them to be sparkly and shiny. And this is a Claudia Raz lip brush. Okay, so you'll now be seeing a kind of before and an after coming up really, really shortly. I'm just going to apply some mascara to the eyes. Smoky Lash Mascara and the wand has been bent and I'm just going to run this through the lashes and that will almost complete the look. So I hope you like it and thank you for watching and now you're going to see a before 
and you'll see an after. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.